This video describes how to take laser power measurements on a Nikon confocal as per the guidelines developed by Quarik Limi Working Group 1. Case van der Oud at Nikon has developed a macro that allows automated measurements using a Thorlabs power meter and a power sensor. You will require the Thorlabs software installed on the acquisition PC and an empty USB socket to attach the power meter to the PC. Here we will demonstrate with a PM400 power meter. We keep this with the required USB cable and the power sensor. This is an S175C, which can be mounted like a slide above the objective. The confocal and lasers have been powered on for at least one hour prior to beginning measurements. Power on the meter and attach to the PC via the USB cable. Attach the power sensor to the meter. The meter automatically detects the sensor type. Place a sensor on the stage pointing to the objective. On an invert such as this, we can use the transmission lamp to center the sensor above the objective using the crosshair target drawn on the back. We don't need to adjust wavelength or anything on the sensor. The macro will control all of that for us. Now in Nikon Elements, ensure the light passes to the scan head and that the interlock is off. In manual settings, ensure all lasers to be measured are switched on. To enable spot scanning, select the auxiliary port option. If this isn't visible, further details are available with the macro describing how you can activate it. Now in the macro menu, select Run Macro from File. Choose the appropriate macro. The options for the macro appear. Here you can choose which lasers to measure and using which dichroic. The dichroic mirror choices are numbered relative to their positions in the wheel, starting with one. Here we are using the third position as it has a quad band covering the wavelengths we will measure. You can specify the upper and lower limits for the laser intensity. It is important to cover the range the lasers are usually used in if you wish to check linearity, but also to ensure the upper limit is below the sensor's maximum input. This is not usually a problem with class 3 laser systems or microscopes with this particular sensor. Next we have the options of measuring the two levels set, whether we wish to check linearity of the OTF and whether we wish to check short term and or long term stability. Here we have omitted the long-term stability tests. Under more settings you can alter the metadata stored with the results, including serial number, log file locations and the linearity points used. Now when you press start a progress and info bar appears. Allow it to run until it says finished. Go and have a coffee or get on with something else. It takes a while depending on how many tests it is performing. When complete, it says finished at the top of the progress bar. Click stop and close the window. The data files will be where you set them, and each measurement is saved as an individual CSV. These can be analysed directly in either a database or a pre-prepared spreadsheet to track intensities over time.